All right, let's talk about Challenger vehicle security. So I'm going to quickly uh, cover um, basically all of the security measures that I personally have implemented for this vehicle to prevent it or make it exceedingly difficult for it to be stolen. Um, so links to buy everything uh, in the description. This is a Faraday box, okay? Uh, this blocks all electromagnetic and radio signals in and out. Um, and I keep all of my keys in here, right? So I have my Challenger uh, Hellcat black key in here, right? This is a nice little case for it with a thing. Keep that in there. Got my motorcycle Ducati key. And this box comes with, I think it's like $15 or $20, something like that. It's pretty cheap, <clears throat> but a link to buy. This box also comes with um, Faraday pouches or bags with the red stitching, kind of a carbon fiber look to it with red stitching. And in here, you can put credit cards inside the outer pouch, but inside the inner pouch, right, this inner pouch with the silver lining, that's where you actually want to put your key. Um, now, why do you need the pouch, right? So <clears throat> the pouch is so that you can have the key uh, when you go into the store and you get out of your car, put the key in the pouch. If you go anywhere, the mall, a restaurant, you know, the valet, this key needs to stay in the pouch. And you got to tell the valet, hey, man, keep this key in the pouch. Do not take it out of the pouch. Um, because what the thieves do is they use um, signal repeaters and they'll see where your car is and then they'll walk around, they'll have a crew or they'll go around and they'll set up a whole bunch of signal repeaters to see if they can transition or carry or repeat that signal over to your vehicle. If they are, the door will open, they will be able to start your car and drive away. Most of the time they're using these repeaters, it's when you're at home um, and that's where this box comes in handy. You'll put this, you know, in your bedroom or on the desk or something in the front of your house or wherever and throw your keys in it and close it all the way. You don't have to latch it but definitely close it all the way so that you don't have any signal coming out. If you leave it like that, signal's gonna get out, okay? So you gotta make sure it's closed all the way. Um, so this is what we're looking at, and it comes with the two pouches, it's got a little thing, but I just, this fits in your pocket pretty easily, so it's, it's legit. Now, <clears throat> 1320 Destroyer, right? So you probably already maybe have seen some videos about 1320 Destroyer. Again, links to buy all this stuff in the description. This is an ODB2, um, sensor port or port hookup cover uh, for the vehicle. I haven't installed this yet, but I will. Um, <clears throat> and you have your ODB2 port, right? Is right up under here. It's like, you know, basically right here. And what you'll do is you can see this has an arrow in it that says front, okay? And you'll just pop that up in there and mount it. Now that just makes it more difficult for them to hook up uh, their computer to your car if they want to try to do that, right? If they've got a laptop with a sensor on with a cable that they can hook in. This makes it more difficult. The thieves want to steal your car in under a minute. If you have this on there, they're going to go, shit, this is going to take more than a minute, right? Um, now, why, why is this important, right? Uh, it's important because even though you can get the software update for your vehicle, um, you know, they don't know you have that software update. So they're still going to hook into your ODB2 port and they're going to try uh, to get into your system, right? So when they see this, they may, they may end up just walking away, potentially. But if they don't, you've got the software update. Now, there's a couple software updates you can get for this car. Um, let me go get my key real quick and we'll talk about some of these software updates from Dodge. Now, Dodge, uh, the dealership, will give you these software updates for free. Um, one of them, and this is the most important one, is the key reprogramming lockout okay so you have a uh, you have a key module in the vehicle and they can actually what they'll do is they'll sell you an, another set of keys a red and a black at a discounted rate okay i think they give you like a 40 percent discount on the keys and the programming and so you have two sets of keys right two blacks two reds and then they will lock out the computer or the key programming module from ever being reprogrammed um, if you want to, if you lose all four of your keys and you need to have new keys programmed, you have to buy a new uh, key programming module. That's about $150 plus it's plus about an hour for install, 32 an hour for install. Um, but if they are, you know, able to hook up to your system with their laptop, they're not going to be able to program a new set of keys 
to your vehicle and drive off. And that is usually, I'm telling you, that's usually something they can do in under a minute, okay? So definitely have the dealership. If you haven't done it, have them do it immediately. Do the key programming lockout. And then um, you have a valet mode and enhanced valet mode, right? So uh, I just cold started my car. I'm gonna go ahead and actually kill the engine real quick because we don't wanna do that. I put my foot on the brake by accident. Um, we're gonna put it into accessory mode real quick here and I'm gonna show you valet mode. Uh, let me close the door so it's not beeping at us. And we'll turn the radio on. We'll go ahead and accept. And I'm gonna pause the a little country. So you'll go to apps, right? And you'll go to SRT mode. When you're in apps here, you go to SRT mode and um, it says, okay, well, we have to start it. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And um, while it's running, then what you'll do is you'll click on valet mode right here. And in valet mode, you can say, oh, do you, do you wanna put the car in, in valet mode? You go, yeah. Okay, yeah, you type in a code, I'm gonna put in one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. Um, pay very close attention to what you're typing here. Very close attention, okay? Because you don't get to retype these numbers for, you know, confirmation. You can only type the numbers once. You know, if you, do, you know, take a picture with your phone, right? Or video record yourself doing this. If you don't have a high degree of confidence, you're gonna remember your pin. Because if you don't remember the pin, this entire radio unit right here and the ECU need to be replaced in your vehicle. It's gonna cost you a fortune. So hit go, it's gonna put it into valet mode. Now obviously I recommend if you're gonna valet your car somewhere to do this, but if you're gonna park your car anywhere, or you're gonna take your car to a shop, or have the oil changed by somebody else, which I don't recommend, always put it into valet mode. Just by default, before you turn your car off, put it into valet mode. Now, there is an enhanced valet mode um, that you can have the dealership program, and the enhanced valet mode will basically limit the vehicle to about three miles per hour, okay? So it totally gimps the vehicle. If somebody is able to get your car started, which theoretically they shouldn't be able to do if you follow the steps that I talked about just a few minutes ago, um, if they are able to get it started, it's only gonna go three miles an hour, and there's nothing they can do to get around that. Now, as of recording this video, the enhanced valet mode is still being worked on by Dodge. They released it kind of prematurely. It had some firmware bugs and it was causing issues with, the, with, with people's vehicles. And so they kind of pulled it and they're still working on the firmware updates to re-release the enhanced valet mode software update. So right now I don't have it. So I use the standard valet mode, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put that code in to take it out of valet mode but that's how you do it. And then um, this is extremely important, this particular uh, upgrade that I'm about to tell you about. It's also by 1320 Destroyer. And um, so we've covered basically how to prevent people from starting your car and driving away with your car, right? If they're able to get it started. Uh, a lot of the thieves don't even start the car. They pull out your little coin tray right here and underneath the coin tray, there is a neutral release lever and a red strap. 1320 Destroyer makes a nice cover. Obviously, if you're pretty skilled and you have equipment, you can make your own cover. Um, but basically, it bolts down underneath here. 1320 Destroyer, I'll put a link for this as well. Um, he's got a great install video that tells you how to take this off, remove the shifter knob, bolt this thing in, put it all back together. It's about a 10 to 15 minute job, pretty easy. Um, but when the thieves open this up and they see this plate right here, they're gonna go, oh shit, right? Um, it doesn't mean that the thieves can't, you know, take everything apart right here, you know, but you have to take this off, which takes time. They're not gonna be able to do it in under a minute, okay? So most thieves, if they do break your window and they get into your car and they're planning to steal it without starting it, they're planning to put it in neutral and push it away or load it onto a trailer, they're not gonna be able to do that. And when they see this, they're gonna bail out. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna try to continue to steal your vehicle, so this is a really um, necessary upgrade without question, okay? Um, I put enhanced security screws on here, so even if they are able to take all this stuff off, if they're willing to spend three or four minutes in the car, or five minutes, and take all this off, once they see how this thing's bolted down, they're not gonna be, they don't have the tool, guaranteed they don't have the tool, okay? So I got 
special security screws uh, to mount this down. Now, 1320 Destroyer does send it does include security screws, but they're quad, they're squared quad screws, and those aren't really foolproof. If you have a flathead, most people have square bits, they're going to be able to do it. Um, but the enhanced security bit, they're not going to be able to do that. Guaranteed, they are not going to be prepared to have that tool to get in there. Okay. Um, so those are. Uh, really the best upgrades you can get. Now, if you have Uconnect um, and you have the Dodge app and you have the Guardian um, system, um, Guardian's pretty good. You can, if your car is somehow stolen, you can use the Dodge app, the Dodge mobile app to see where your car has been, everywhere that it's been, where it currently is. On satellite, you can lock the car remotely, you can turn the car on and off remotely and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's ex exceedingly valuable as well to have that. Now, can thieves get around that? Yes, they can. Um, what they usually end up doing if they want to get around that, they, they, and they only do this if they if they're confident they're going to be able to get away with your vehicle, like drive it off or push it or push it off. They will rip this entire mirror and this entire assembly up here. They'll rip it clean off. Okay. Now, if they rip that clean off, boom, kiss the satellite system goodbye. Right. Um, some thieves know about that. Some thieves don't. Right. So. Uh, it is what it is, but I feel like, you know, we have the right, um, you know, measures in place essentially to prevent the car from being stolen. And, um, I will tell you, I live in Texas and, you know, God bless Texas. If I were to ever find somebody attempting to steal my car, their life will belong to me. Guaranteed. Uh, the other thing I recommend is if you are living or uh, in a state where you have the right to open carry or to concealed carry, anytime you get into your Hellcat or your Demon or your Red Eye or whatever it is, always carry your firearm. Always. Um, I've seen these cars get jacked at stop signs, at stop lights. You know, I live near the Dallas area, right? They get jacked and people get jacked. So always carry your piece and... Um, you know, if you're not allowed to carry a piece, carry pepper spray, carry mace, carry a knife, like carry whatever you can carry in your car to protect yourself and your vehicle from being stolen. And, um, you know, if there's any thieves out there that are thinking about stealing these cars, it's not worth it. Like, it's just not worth it at all. Uh, personally, like you can lose your life, uh, in more ways than one. So I think that's about it. Um, there is actually one more thing. Uh, when you're driving to work or to a movie theater or a restaurant or you're going home, you know, kind of keep tabs on your rear view mirror and just make sure that nobody is um, kind of following you, right? Um, if you see a car that's been following you for a long time and you're about to pull into your neighborhood or where you live, take a detour and see if that car continues to follow you. If they are, then they are following you with the specific intent, figuring out where you live or where you're gonna park your car so that they can steal it, right? Um, if you have an Apple phone or an Android, I know that these Apple Air Tags and things like that, you know, sometimes they're putting those on your car to find out where where your you know where your car is at nighttime so they can go steal it. Um, keep tabs on your phone because if there's an Air Tag, your phone will let you know, hey, there's an Air Tag near you. Okay, be on high alert for that. If that pops up when you're driving in your car, man, you got to check your car like 100%. Find out where that Air Tag is. Um, I think they do make an app for the Android phone that'll tell you if there's a, a tracking or AirTag um, in your proximity as well, but that's something to be aware of, right? And you might think, oh, I'm being paranoid, but no, these cars, like, check it out. They, these cars get stolen day in and day out. They get stolen right off the dealership lots, you know, in, in batches of six and under a minute. It's insane. So just take the necessary precautions, guys.